What's up guys, you're watching Auto X and we're in the city of Kolkata, otherwise known as the city of joy. And we're here for a very interesting product launch. It's the Datsun Redigo. Now we first got a glimpse of the Redigo at the Auto Expo and obviously the car had a very overwhelming response, which is why the Japanese manufacturer has not decided to launch the product here in India. So the Redigo was first showcased at the 2014 Delhi Auto Expo in concept form. But what you see right here, it's essentially almost the same car. Now, uh, it's a very urban, very fresh look for a hatchback, but obviously it's been called an urban crossover, so it takes a lot of features from crossover vehicles. So obviously you have, it's under four meters, it's about three and a half meters long, but it has very nice lines along the whole body. As you can see coming down right here, that's the body in half. So it separates the top from the bottom half, making it look a lot sleek on the top and a lot more muscular in the bottom. The wheel arches are prominent. Uh, it's got decent sized wheels. As you can see with the front bumper over here, it's got nice LEDs down here. It's nice and fresh. It's got a very nice grill, headlights. It's actually the back of the vehicle that stands out the most. As you can see, the, the over overall design, it's not very straight. It's got a lot of different uh, angles and edges coming up. Um, the tail lights are designed in a very unique way. It's got a nice plastic panel down here to make it look like a two-tone color. Overall, it's a great design. Um, it's a lot different than what we've seen. I mean, the Renault Quid has been the number one uh, car so far in terms of styling, but I think the Datsun Redigo is about to take over that crown. When we step inside the Datsun Redigo, you can see that it is very spacious. Uh, I am 6'3", I have broad shoulders, and I easily can get in the car, and that's thanks to the high seating position. We also do like the dashboard setup. It's very basic, nothing fancy, but of course, it does the job well. It's got a nice instrument cluster, uh, it's got an uh, AC vents, it's got a serious system, all the controls you need, power windows, switches here, and it's just it's a very nice, comfortable feel. Lots of headroom, lots of legroom. I can adjust the seat how I want it to be, and overall, for the driver, it's very comfortable. When you get to the rear seat still, however... When you get to the rear seats, surprisingly, it is very comfortable. Now, I was driving the car earlier, the, the seat's all the way back to my, to my, for my size, and I'm sitting in the back seat now. I mean, my knees are touching the, the seat, but I still have lots of room. My feet are, can move around easily. Uh, headroom is very nice, it's very spacious. So yeah, I'm actually very, very uh, impressed with the way the, 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 rear, space, the re rear space is. Um, not just that, um, the car is only three and a half meters long. It's also got a very spacious boot. Now let's check that out. Even the space in the rear boot is actually very impressive. Um, as you can see, I've got my icebox in here, my camera tripod. I also got another big bag, which is my camera equipment, and it fits in very nicely, very easily, and it's still got a lot more space. So, I mean, considering the dimensions of the car, this is very impressive. Driver's seat space, the rear seat space, and the boot space. Overall, the interiors, when it comes to space, the ready go score is top marks. So we've been driving the ready go for a while now, and I have to say, I am quite impressed with the car. Um, it's obviously got the same engine as the Renault Quid, which is an 800cc engine. Uh, petrol engine and it's made it to a five-speed annual gearbox. It's got 52 bhp of power and about 72 newton meters of torque. Now the engine is quite refined. It does sound, uh, it is pretty loud, but it is uh, quite refined. The gearbox is also very nice, uh, very good for the city. Um, it doesn't have very good low-end torque though, obviously. So you need to be well above 2,500 rpm to get any sort of power at all. But I mean, for the city, it's an urban cross car. It's a very nice car. It's got a very good ground clearance. You sit up high, so you have a very good view of the road. And it's it's a quite comfortable car. Actually, I did I did have issues initially with the car being with the seat being a little too high for me because I am a very tall person. But uh, not everyone is as tall as me, and I think it will be a very comfortable fit for almost anybody who gets in the car. Um, the suspension is a little too uh, hard uh, for my liking. I would prefer would have preferred a, a little softer suspension setup. But uh, also the steering is a little light, not very responsive. But again, these things are meant are made to be like this because it's supposed to be a comfortable car to drive in the city. So the you really can't complain about much, whether it's the power, suspension, steering, everything has been done pretty nicely, it works well, and um, yeah, overall it's a very good car and good right quality. Speaking 
of the ground clearance, a little small test track set up for us. And they had two really big speed breakers so we could test out the ground clearance and see how efficient it was. And, and we had to say it was very impressive indeed. Uh, they were some pretty big speed breakers, but the, the ready go just handled it superbly. So when Nissan decided to relaunch the Datsun brand, they had one thing in mind. They wanted to make affordable cars in emerging markets. Well, they promised three cars in the Indian market and this is their third launch and they've delivered. The Ready Go is a fantastic vehicle. It looks great. It's got a great engine and shares the same platform with the Quid. It competes obviously with the very strong Mark Suzuki Alt 800 and the Hyundai Eon. But we think this is actually creating a new segment known as the Urban Cross vehicle. Renault has done it and now Datsun has done it with the Ready Go. So check it out. It's a fantastic car. I'm sure you like it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned next time while we bring you more action from AutoX.